A 2020 edition of the Flesh Well On would be a different one like all races this year. An autumn classic instead of a spring classic, but the same finish atop the mighty Mordoui. Three laps of a finishing circuit of 32 kilometres, with a brand new couple of climbs in before the finish. Four riders went away in the first 30 k's of the day. The headline name among them, the man wearing number seven, 21 year old Mauri von Sevenant, making his debut on the World Tour. Chasing behind Sunweb, UAE Emirates, and the Ineos Grenadiers. Sunweb having Mark Hirschi as their leader. Michal Kwiatkowski doing his thing for Ineos Grenadiers. In the meantime, for UAE Emirates, their leader Tadej Pogaccia. De Marchi would attack from behind alongside uh, Schelling. And the breakaway with one lap to go would start to break up. Maximum gap of nine minutes was down to around one with 25 kilometers to go. EF and Mitchelton Scott starting to join the chase. But Sevenant would be the last survivor of the breakaway, dropping Paskins, the Dutchman. And on the penultimate climb of the day, Rigoberto Uran dropped off in a perfect position and starting to really motor away from the peloton. Van Sevenant would have 15 seconds on Uran, just over half a minute on the peloton. And going into the final couple of kilometres, his team chasing on behind, waiting to see if he'd be caught. But then this would happen. Van Sevenant off into a ditch, his gap disappearing. And with it, all chances of fighting it out for the win on the last climb. Uran would catch him, but they'd be caught right at the bottom of the Mordoui as the favourites all attempted to be positioned. Paul Ants would do his thing for Pogacar at the bottom of the climb. Sergio now would then take it on. Dries Devenines dropping off by Jolly. Port the first of the favourites to have a go. And then it'd be up to Mike Woods to do the same. 200 metres to go when he had his acceleration trying to become the first Canadian ever to win the race. Here she in the white jersey on his wheel, and after a brilliant bronze at the World Championships, a stage win at the Tour de France, he waited until 50 metres to go here to launch his own acceleration, and it would be the winning move. Mark Hirschi, the first Swiss rider since the great Ferdi Kubler to win this race. 1952, the last Swiss win. 2020, a flesh one on victory for the man from Bern. What form, what a moment, and what ability at 22 years of age. Mark Hirschi, the winner ahead of Benoit Cousneufroy, and in third place, Mike Woods. Bargill would be fourth, Dan Martin to a brilliant fifth, with Kwiatkowski, Comrade, Port Pogacar and Geske all making up a superbly strong top ten. Mark Hirschi, though, the man of the day at Flesh Wellon. Naturellement.